Hello everyone, well I did an, uh, a video previously about putting azimuths on survey lines given interior angles uh, measured in the field, but I got a question about how do you, if you're given azimuths on these lines, how do you solve for the angles, right? How do you solve for the angles, the interior angles between the azimuths? And that's a really good question because on a lot of survey plans, uh, you're given azimuths. Right, and you wanna to do survey calculations. Sometimes you need the angles between them. So I'm gonna right now demonstrate how you solve for these angles. And there's a few different ways to do it. Um, they're both, or all of them are easily done. You just kind of have to visualize it. It's, it's all about visualizing it. So this is gonna be about determining. angles interior right these are going to be interior angles from azimuths right determining interior angles from from azimuths so if i draw out a traverse or a, this is going to be a survey plan here very simple one. All right, and I'm going to give give some points here. I'm going to give point numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the angles, I mean, sorry, the azimuths are going to be 25, 109, 190, and 280. Right, these are all degrees. and they're heading in this direction all right so we as we learned before uh, azimuths are re represented off north or south usually north in this case they're represented off north and we're going to try to solve for these interior angles All right, so it's all about visualizing this. All right, these bearings, sorry, these azimuths are are re represented off north. Right, so it's it's easy to draw your coordinate coordinate axes out, your north, south, east, and west. Alright. Alright, and then and then to kind of visualize this. This line here, two to one, is going twenty is twenty-five degrees off of north. Right? Twenty-five degrees off of north. So I'm gonna draw that. Right, so that angle in here. Oops, sorry. That angle in here is 25 degrees. Right, and this uh, this right here, two to three, is um, 109 degrees. So that's going to be somewhere down here. Right, and that's that's reference. Right, that's the same thing. That's reference to north. That's 109 degrees. So how do we get the angle between it right here? 
Well, that's the difference in the angles. That's the difference in the azimuth. That's 109 minus 25. Right? So, 109 minus 25 for 10 is 8. Right? It's 84 degrees. Right, so the difference between the azimuths is 84 degrees. But what's that? That's not the in. That's not this interior angle, right? That's that's this angle here. Right, if I extended that line one to two straight out, that's this angle in here. So how would I get this interior angle? Well, I just take 180 from that. Right. So 180 from 84. Is 96. So this angle was this angle was 84. Right. So this one in here is going to be 96. And then you just do that. Uh, you kind of you keep doing that as you go through. There are some issues though. Like. Uh, um, you know, but but there's there's ways around it. So you always want to draw these lines on on a coordinate axis. So let's do this interior angle here. Let's do this one. Right? Let's do that one. So I'm going to draw my coordinate axes. Right, again we got north, east, south, and west. And we get a line that has an azimuth of 280, right? 4 to 1 is 280. So it's going to be somewhere, right? These are these are going to be reference to north. Right? So 280 is somewhere around you know around there. So this oops. This is going to be 280 degrees. Right, and then we have the line that's 25. Oops, let's pick in another color. This line here. Is 25 degrees. Right, has an azimuth of 25. So what do we want to solve for? We want to solve for what this angle, right? We want to solve for if we extend if we extend the line, this is from this is four to one. So if we get the back azimuth here and we start going the other way from one to four, we want that angle between there. What we want, we want this angle. So there are a few ways to do it. We can get the back azimuth. So we take we take 180. You know, we we subtract 180 from 280, which is 100, and then we just subtract 25 from that, right? Because we're going to be going this way with an azimuth of 180. So it's going to be 180 minus 25. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we're subtracting. We're subtracting 180 from 280. So this is going to be 100. All right. So we're taking 100 from 25. I'm sorry about that. 100 from 25. All right. So that's 75 degrees. The angle in there is 75 degrees. All right. So what's what's another way we could have done that? All right. We could have. Um, well, we could have got this angle in between here. 
right? And then just subtracted 180 from that. We could we could have gotten this angle in between there. And we know that because this is, you know, we know that, um, you know, we know that this this is going to be 180, right, between them. So we're just going to take once we solve for this angle, whatever that is, we would take 180 from that, and that would give us our interior angle, right? So there's a bunch of ways you can solve for these interior angles you just kind of have to look at it and sometimes you need the back azimuth uh, but most of the time you can just get away like this one you can just get away with uh, you know taking the difference and then uh, subtracting that from uh, from one eight, from that angle from 180 to get the interior angle so there's a few ways to do it I hope I answered uh, any questions or if you have any comments, let me know. All right, have a good day.